Hi, my name is Nick. I'm quality assurance manager, welding engineering, and I work in the oil and gas field out in the Gulf of Mexico. I, uh, every day I start out with an inspector's meeting. We go through, and the first thing we talk about is safety. Safety is an important part of my job. And throughout the day, I assign and delegate tasks to my inspectors that work onshore and offshore. The inspectors, they go out and perform the inspections on the pressure vessels or piping in the job or the project that's required. After the piping is inspected, the paperwork is filled out and the reports are finished. And then I come in to review and audit their reports to maintain consistency within the quality management of what they have to support the inspections for government regulations and customer requirements. A stressful part of being a quality assurance manager, welding engineering, is to where being an inspector, it carries a lot of responsibility. When you're out there evaluating welds, looking at welds and checking for the customer, they have to be evaluated to a certain criteria to make sure they meet the requirements of the job. At times, when you come through, at, there's difficult decisions and you have to make the decisions correctly. As an inspector, you have, you have to be ethical when you look at things. You have to look at things with ethics as far as safety of the job, the service of what the application you're working on, and as well as the evaluation of the weld to make sure you're meeting the customer requirements. In the event if there's an error made in the evaluation of the welds, we have to go back and assess the situation and make sure the areas are repaired correctly and, and adjust the areas to make sure they're meeting the criteria and then they're fully acceptable to meet the service requirement. The qualifications and education levels for my position is to where you come through and I went through a welding technology associate's degree welding program on a collegiate level when I finished out. And when I finished out school, I started on my tools as a pipe welder. Coming through, coming through working on the job as a pipe welder, I wanted to take my certified welding inspector license program that's through the American Welding Society that requires four years welding experience with the educational level I had and finishing out to where the practical experience is very important for the position I have along with general knowledge of non-destructive testing, testing of welds which is very related to CWI licensing for the inspections and evaluations of welds and procedural development. Um, definitely the welding basics and knowing the practical aspect of the job is very important to, to be able to manage and work with inspectors and as long as well as with the quality internal document system being involved with international standard organizations and understanding how the system works to maintain consistency and quality through an auditing type function helps you take and keep a good organization to standardize and have a good business going. The best parts is working as a quality assurance manager or welding engineering. The best parts I'd have to say I enjoy is working on procedures and working in the oil and gas field, working with very challenging requirements, meeting customer specifications, working with various different customers, and working with various different people. The part of working in the oil and gas field that the requirements are very tolerant and very stringent to where it makes it difficult to achieve some of the requirements you need to meet. So I would say the worst part of the job that I'm working is when I'm developing procedures and trying to meet that real high tolerance criteria, making things, sometimes it turns into a trial and error process within the welding to meet the requirements and where the more trial and error process you have, the more cost that you have developing the procedure and achieving the goal and strength that you want. Working up into this kind of position Definitely, above all, your work ethic is important. Attendance on the job is very important. Being on time, as well as being there, being safe, drug-free. It's very good to have very good communication skills as far as safety, knowing the hazards around the job. And also, as an inspector, you need to have good reporting skills to make good, accurate reports, to make sure your, your inspections are consistent, uh, evaluations and performing audits also support the consistency of your reporting and being an organized person and being there and being very professional when you're working with different types of customers and other people. 
uh, being very clear and on, and on top of things and uh, being a good inspector takes to where you need to be on your toes about interpreting different specifications you read and different procedures you, you go over. So it's important to make sure that you're very clear within your clarity of communication and how you're performing the task on the job. If you're currently in the, weld, in the welding field right now working as a welder or working as a helper or any type of supervision, it's very good to go look into the certified welding inspector program that American Weld Welding Society has to offer. It's based on your education level, but if you have the correct amount of years to come through and take the certified welding inspector examination, it'll really give you a very good credential and a big leap into the inspection field of being able to carry responsibility and knowing that you can read and interpret and evaluation welds, which makes it very important as a good inspector that a lot of jobs require.